it started in 2016. Uh, it was the first time when, when um, Polish women went out to the streets because uh, at that time the party at power, the peace party, um, made a first tentative to uh, restrict, to, to, to totally, actually to, to totally ban the uh, abortion rights. And at that moment, the organization, um, the strike, Polish Union strike, called the people, called the women to go out to the streets to protest. So it was the first time when the women went out to the street dressed in black uh, to protest against this project of, uh, of law, which was to ban completely the abortion rights. And they were very numerous, and I think women, the women were um, astonished themselves that there were so many of them. And at that time, the government um, backed up, stopped. Since 2016, there was a lot of initiatives coming not only from the um, government, the church, but also from um, a very powerful organization, fundamentalist Catholic organization, which is called Ordo Juris, and which operates in Poland. And the members of this organization are, uh, since a few years, uh, more and more present in the structures of power in Poland. So um, they have a lot of money and they have a lot of a lot of power and every time uh, it's their initiative because they have lawyers who work for them and they can write laws so last year um, it was pandemics and um, people were extremely frustrated also because of the um, elections uh, presidential elections which were held in summer the, the candidate of the ruling party won the elections so uh, the women went to the street um, and this protest lasts for two months and uh, it was of course very um, uh, it was very creative very powerful but also um, extremely um, exhausting and the, um, there were a lot of problems with the police uh, who was very brutal also there was cases of people having um, arms broken and uh, people who uh, went out to the streets to protest and found themselves in um, jail nobody knew where they were etc etc So as for the movement itself, uh, there was not only, you know, the, the, the organization we speak a lot outside of Poland is uh, women's strike. And of course, it's important to speak about women's strike. But in Poland, since 2016, you have a lot of orga feminist organization who are active in small in small towns, in small towns, I repeat, you know, I, I talk a lot about small towns because it's also new. Normally you could see um, progressist young people or older people in big cities, but not in the small towns. And now you have also people active in the, in the small towns. So there, there is this, this uh, a lot of organization, feminist organization, and there is about 100 organization who became very active since 2016 and very well organized. Of course, they didn't come out like this, you know, from nowhere because it was prepared. There is this um, event, a big event, which is held since 2009, which is called uh, um, Congress of Women. And uh, it's a big event that um, unites women coming from whole Poland. Every time there is this event, the subject is different 
and you have um, different groups where you can, um, I don't know, do training, speak about different problems, think about solutions, etc., etc. So it, it's not as if this protest or organization came out of nowhere. Before 2016, um, it was, let's say, more um, elitistic, can you say it in English? So it was mainly um, women with higher education, you know, who were uh, feminists and dealing with the subjects. And after 2016, uh, uh, every, maybe not every woman, but it spread to different social um, groups and it became a very uh, large movement. So this is, this is also a change. So, uh, so last year, at the moment when the protests, the protests last for about two months and by the end of t the, those two months, the situation was not changing, you know, that people were going to the streets, they were exhausted, it was cold, everybody was sick, it was, you know, it was really hard, but they were going into the street in spite of the brutality of, of the police, etc. And then at some point, uh, women's strike said, okay, now we are going to go back home. Because they um, created um, uh, some kind of, they, they called it committees, I, I hope you can say it in English, and every committee was supposed to work on a different subject. So you could have, uh, you know, one committee for um, the rights of disabled people, one committee about education, one committee about specifically, uh, you know, women rights, one committee about the laicity in Poland, one comedy about pedophilia in the church, you know, so, so they invited the experts, you know, they called them the experts and they invited people, very different people, to work on it. At, at first, you know, for a few months, um, it was very dynamic, so people were, people were uniting, you know, proposing laws, and you could, uh, everybody could see what were the proposals, and yourself, you know, everybody could comment on it. You know, you could say, okay, I think it's good, but, you know, maybe you should think about this or... Um, so it was, for, for, for a few months, it was very, you know, very dynamic. And um, now uh, this committee is uh, kind of suspended the, the work and I tried to know why it was, there was some problems in the organization, you know. Um, so for the moment they, you know, they managed to do something. So these proposals of law, different proposals of law exist, you know, they, you know, they can be proposed in the uh, parliament. But as far as I know, the work is now suspended and you, but you have to know also that the experts the people who were invited to work on it they of course they have also they work they you know they are extremely busy people uh, but different organizations as i told you there is about 100 organizations continue to be active on different levels and on they work on different subjects 